Hello, welcome to a brand new series. This is Grand Prix World. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and this is perhaps the best uh, F1 management game of all time. It's uh, from the 1998 season. It's a very, very old game, but uh, one that I know that a lot of people hold very, very dear to them. And uh, it's only a game that I've discovered recently. I played it in the retro show uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, I thought, you know, we'd give it a go. We'd give it a, a playthrough and uh, we'd see how we would get on. I have watched uh, quite a bit of it on YouTube recently. I'm trying to learn the ropes a little bit. This series in particular will be me just fumbling my way through and discovering it with you guys for the first time. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will not have really heard of this game and um, will be sort of uh, learning along. With me, I'm trying to um, make this as uh, good as possible, and um, sort of move it and moving it around a little bit. I think, I think that's okay. Um, hey, it, it it doesn't really matter too much. Hopefully, uh, you can see everything. Now, uh, this is a a sort of modified version of the game in in so much that. Um, Jack Villeneuve is in it, but it is very much the 1998 season. It's just sort of updated for modern systems, if you like. So we are just, it, it's going to be a pure let's play. Um, no real editing of, of sorts, and I'm just going to take my time through it. So hopefully you will enjoy it. If you do, leave a like down below. Get involved down in the comments. I really do want to hear your tips and all of that good stuff. So uh, let's get into it. We are going to have a new game. And, uh, well, let's call ourselves uh, Captain Goodspeed. Not like that. Captain Goodspeed. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we need to pick our team now. So, of course, Ferrari, um, Williams, Benetton, McLaren, they're sort of off limits because they're very, very good. Um feel like it would be a little bit too easy if we went for for one of those. So we're, we're going to stick away from the top four teams. Um, Jordan are, are a possibility, but they, they were fairly competitive in 1998. I believe they did get their first victory um, in that season. So we're going to stay away from that. Prost, you know, midfield team. Uh, Sauber, very much a midfield team. Arrows. Again, a midfield team, and then you've sort of got your back markers with Stuart Tyrrell and, and Minardi. Tyrrell and Minardi very much a sort of a cut of a, 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 a drift from the, the, the pack. That will be, I think, too big a, a challenge for this first series. So, um, what we are going to do is we're going to go with Sauber. Now, these are a team that are still on the grid today. And hopefully it will be enjoyable. We've got John Alacy and Johnny Herbert. Um, our goal is to finish in the top five. But uh, hopefully, you know, we can finish in the middle of the pack. We won't have too much worries about money. Um, and I think that is a, a massive one for me. So let's get into this. And uh, here we are. This is the, the home screen. We have got two and a half million in the bank. We, of course, have uh, the Australian Grand Prix that is going to start um, the season. But uh, a lot of this episode is going to be laying the foundations because I found out that you need to make your moves it, before round one has, has begun. So a lot of our sort of decisions about designers and um, the infrastructure of the team will be made in round one. So... Uh, let's have a little look then. Uh, so we've got the news. Sauber has given a warm welcome to the new boss. Great things are expected of the new team owner. The commercial arm uh, of the FIA has confirmed the new funding levels for all teams this year. Um, we have got uh, a message. We will be getting 11 million in funds this season. Okay, we'll delete that. Uh, this is our balance so 1998 estimated revenue 41 million we have got 2.5 million in the bank 
Um, and there's the expenditure. Uh, we'll be coming back to this screen in a little bit, deciding on our drivers, commercial, design, engineering and mechanics for next season. I think that is going to be really important. And then we, of course, have our stats. So I believe this game, you, you can have up to a 40-year career. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we'll see. And uh, we can keep an eye on this season score uh, throughout the year. So that's sort of the home screen. If we have a look on this, we have got three cars. They're all in decent shape. Um, within that, you've got maintenance and you've got repairs as well. Um, we probably don't want to do too much testing in this first season, is what I found out, or particularly for smaller teams. Um, we might do a pre-season test just to see where the car is and try and get off to a, to a good start. Um, that is sort of looking towards next year. So you can see uh, that is where our car is at at the moment. Decent performance in certain areas, but the other areas we do need to work on. Um, our 1999 chassis we need to start working on that at at some point um i'm not entirely sure how you do begin work on that um what's that oh there you go so i think i suppose we we, we get straight on the 1999 car i think we we want to stick pretty much everybody on next year's car you know try and get that design up and yeah hopefully that will will work out well for us um yeah this looks fine so we have we, we could take some designers off that and can we re reallocate them to this so we can improve reliability, we could improve performance. Probably want to improve the reliability of the electronics. Um, so let's stick 25% of our engineers on that. We have got driving aids as well. We're not going to worry too much about that for this year. Um, if we go into this one. So... Probably want to build some spares just to get ourselves going a little bit and make sure that we're covered for any altercations in the first race of the season. And that should help us out significantly. So we do have 16% of engineers left. There we go. That's fine. And we can up that a little bit to get that to 100%. So there you go. Nice. Right, cool. So we've got plenty of spare parts in the bank for Season 1. Uh, and we want to start thinking about engines for next season. So, of course, we are a customer team for Ferrari at this point um our tires <clears throat> we currently have the goodyear tires and uh, fuel we have shell now all of those we are a customer so we are fully paying for for all of that so we definitely want to maybe do some negotiations and and try and, and get some um deals in in the works if you like uh we want to get these going a little bit um, how much would it cost I suppose if we get if we spend a little bit of money early on then that is that is probably 
going to serve us well. Um, but again, it may well come back to bite us. I really don't know. I'm just trying to, to lay the foundations of something positive. So we've got that going. Um, so. think we're okay for now. That's cool. Right, so if we have a look at our commercial. We're going to get 30 million this year. If we look at our car. Can we look at our car? Where can we look at it? There. You can see Red Bull are uh, very much our title sponsors. Um, we then have Baumler. Lots and lots in there. We've got Patronus in there. Which is good. Okay. So how do I get out of this? It's a good question. There we go. Um, sponsors. So you can see Red Bull are paying us 21.5 million. I mean, that is a huge amount of money to be getting in. Ferrari, we are paying 9500 for those engines. What would be quite nice is to go and get a works deal elsewhere. We're not going to get a Ferrari works engine, obviously. Um, and we'd quite like a partnership with Goodyear or Shell. Uh, what I am going to do is just quickly save the game so that we are we are all sorted in case of any crashes or whatever, yeah, it is a bit of a thing in this game. Um, so 1999, we haven't got anything there. Uh, I'm guessing this is some negotiations. So there you go. So we can start negotiations with, with teams. Um... I mean, realistically, we're not going to get a, a Mercedes-Benz or, or Ferrari deal, so um, perhaps a Peugeot deal it would be quite nice to get a works with Peugeot. Uh, Mugen Honda as well. Um, perhaps, you know, Jordan are only partners with them at the moment. Ford could be a possibility. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look at assigning some people to that. We're going to assign 40% of our commercial staff, uh, staff to Peugeot to try and get a, a works deal going. Um, I think that they might be quite happy with that. Uh, Bridgestone. Of course, we we don't really want to be a customer. We'd like to be a partner. Now, Goodyear only have one partner. So, why don't we get 30% of our guys on that? And then for the fuel as well. Um, who could we be with? I suppose Total would be good. So why don't we get 30% on that as well? We won't worry too much about title sponsors just yet. Um, but I think that's fine. Okay. That's fine. What does that do? Okay. Fair enough. Right, what's this? So we can bring uh, people to events if we want. But we're not in negotiations with anybody yet. So I think this is for later in the season when you're in negotiations with Peugeot and, and whoever. You can bring along um, people to to join you. Um, but at the moment that's not going to happen I don't think. Unless there are. No, I don't think so. Right. Yeah, we can't bring Red Bull along or, or anything like that. Uh, commercial licensing. So, there's stuff in there. And then you can actually sell 
a bit of your team you can take out loans um, we're not really going to be interested in that at the moment <clears throat> okay right so let's have a little look probably want to be a bit more careful careful early on in the season with both drivers just until we find our feet don't want to be the most careful but let's not go out there and ruin it <laughs> so team orders um, you can change this I think this is the the amount of margin of uh, that you need so we'll say seven seconds for that uh, and seven seconds to, to there as well that's fine so Alacy very much our number one driver at the moment Johnny Herbert second and then we've got Muller third that's our setup information. Can't do anything with that just yet. There are race cars and pit crew priorities. Probably want to have a hundred percent on the pit crew, or at least well seventy-seven percent on that. We'll have ten percent on uh, car scrutiny, five percent on race scrutiny, seven percent on that. We are going to focus on Jordan. No, we're not. We're going to focus on Ferrari's traction control. And we'll focus on McLaren there. Why not? Why not? That's fine by me. Right, I think now we are ready to go and have a little look at drivers for next season. So, this could be anyone. Um... Jean Alacy is quite old. He's 33, I believe. I think we, we want a new young driver for next season. Um, now, Paolo Diniz is a pay driver. You can see he will pay 9,000, uh, 9,600,000 to be a part of our team next season. Salo, an okay option. Um, Giancarlo Fisichella, I think, would be an excellent shout you are you know sort of getting um, a younger version of John Alacy there and surely he can improve it I don't know how things work in this game in terms of potential uh, failing that somebody like Ralph Schumacher might be an option David Coulthard fairly cheap as well um, and then Rubens Barrichello would be a very good option as well so I think we want to start off by trying to get our first choice who I think is going to be maybe Barrichello actually because if you look at his stats they are they are better than Alacy for the most part and we can afford to to offer him something good so let's have a little look we're gonna offer him 5.42 million we're gonna offer him 80,000 race bonus because let's face it we're probably not gonna win a championship or a race with him next season we'll go for a million there we won it for two seasons and his role is gonna be equal first driver Let's see what he says. No. He doesn't think we've got a strong financial package. So that could be a problem. Um, so no Barrichello. Let's try Giancarlo. Oh, contract too long. Two seasons. Interesting. We might be able to come back next round for him, but there you go. That's uh, two drivers already out of contention. 
Um, yeah, you have got some non-F1 drivers, which, which could feature. Um, hmm. Ralph Schumacher. Let's see if we can get him. No, contract too short. Wow. Mm, this is this is going to be trickier than I thought to go get some drivers. Hmm. Okay, we'll come out of that for now. Now to replace Johnny Herbert, I'm thinking Diniz. Let's get that ten million in the bank. His race bonus, let's give him 100,000. Championship bonus, 700. I score three seasons. I know that's a lot. He can be our second driver. No, let's go two. Hey, accepts it. So, we will get Paolo Diniz next season, which is good. So, let's uh, confirm that. So, he's going to be replacing Johnny Herbert. Now, if we need another season of John O'Lacy, I'm sure we can do that at some point. Um, but I'm quite happy with that. Now, commercially, we want to get somebody in. Uh... Now, what we can do is... Can we increase any of that? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I've got a bit of room. But uh, let's have a look at this. So, we can uh, bring in somebody. So, we've got Kaiser at the moment on 272,000. As you can see, Lambert, uh, 320. Armstrong only 304. These are improvements, but actually not spending that much more money So we can give him a little bit of extra money. We can say maybe two seasons for that And give 4% on that and let's see what Rob Armstrong says No, they don't like that. Okay. What about Lambert? We go up to 380 on to five do that Hmm Okay so a few people not wanting a part of us, which is a shame. And then you're starting to get up to some ridiculous sums. So I think perhaps just leave it as 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 is for now. Now designer, lot more important. So five hundred and sixty thousand salary. He's on at the moment. Of course, we're not going to get the top two there. Worth, again, not not quite. Um, Godo is pretty good. But uh, you look at Gascoigne, and, and he is a lot cheaper. So I'm going to try and get Gascoigne. We're going to offer him 400,000. I'm going to offer him a decent race bonus of 60,000. And a championship bonus of 250. And we're going to give him two years on the contract. Let's see if he accepts that. Yes, he has done. So, uh, we can get Gascoigne. We are going to come out of that for now. We're going to try and get uh, some engineering contract in there. Adrian Newey, of course, is the, the big one. But we're not going to be able to afford him. Um... Gary Anderson could be a possibility. We've got uh, Ress, who, who is at ours. We've got uh, Possil Wait at Tyrrell, who is three stars, but is a little bit cheaper. So we are going to go for him. We're going to offer him 600,000 on the wages. I'm going to offer him 50,000 on the race victory. And we're going to offer him 150,000 on the championship. Two seasons. Let's see what he thinks. 
Ah, contract too long. Could come back and ask him in a little bit. Uh, and then we've got Chief Mechanic. So Keller is a three star on 216. Uh, Edwards, 192. You know, I'm not really seeing too much to go for there. Perhaps we we just go for, for Keller again for another season. Maybe if we just increase the stuff a little bit. Ah, they want a bit more money. We can possibly do that after round one. So um, that is going to be everything that I'm going to put in place before round one. Now, I've probably done loads of things wrong, but that's part of the, the, the journey and part of what we uh, are aiming to do. So let's head to Australia for our first race of the season. Um, and what we're going to do is we're not going to watch qualifying, we're not going to watch the race because what I found out in the retro show is that it's long and it's loud and you can't really see a lot anyway. So um, we didn't do any pre-season testing. That was probably a mistake. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's get into things. So, of course, we are number 14 and 15. It's going to be very dry and uh, high winds. So you can see between them, we have got softs and hards. Um, we're going to go with hards on a Lacey's car. Hang on. And on Herbert's, we are going to go soft. That's fine. Cool. Right. So qualifying. I'm going to go for five laps for LAC. Five laps for Herbert. And there you go. So qualifying. We have qualified in 11th and 12th. So middle of the pack. Not bad. Could be a bit better. I'd have expected a little bit better on the uh, soft tyres from Herbert. Um, nobody outside of the 107%, but we look comfortably ahead of Prost at the moment, but uh, that's kind of where I'd expect to have a sixth best team. Uh, McLaren lead in the way, Ferrari there in P3 and 4, Williams looking okay, certainly Heinz Harold, Frenson, Bennett and very, very good in 6th and 7th. So, um, we probably do want to try something a little bit different in the race. Um, so, a Lacey is going to try and go on a one-stop. So we're going to take that away. We are going to put, what is it, 29-29. So at the end of lap 29, he's going to come in. And he is going to put another 29 laps of fuel in. He's going to start on dry two. I'm going to dry three. Those are scrubbed. So that's fine. That looks okay. And then Herbert. He's going to go for a bit more of an aggressive strategy. He's going to go for the two stopper. So let's see. How are we going to come out? Hey, fifth place for John O'Lacy. Well, two points on our debut. Now, Herbert, 20 seconds, so something must have happened to him. But uh, for John O'Lacy to finish fifth there, that is huge. That is two points in the bag straight away. Now, what has he done? Hydraulics failure. That's interesting. Um, but there you go. Two points in the bag. That could be huge. So well done to John O'Lacy. Now, that's the end of round one. So uh, we've got Deniz in there already. Uh, Hakkinen's, I guess. Oh, he's going to Williams. Interesting. Um, so he's already off the market. What about Barrichello? Uh, I don't really know what 
his problem was last time. Ah, he's accepted it this time. Very good. Okay. So we grab ourselves Rubens Barrichello, who I think is a, a big improvement on John O'Lacy overall. Uh, we do need a test driver for next season. And I'm tempted to go for somebody like Juan Pablo Montoya. Um, just going to look at the likes of Heidfeld. Uh, oh, he's only 20. He also for Stappen, 26. De La Rosa, 27 already. I mean, Cowie was still racing in 2010. I don't know. Um, no, let's go Juan Pablo Montoya. We know how good he can be. He's going to be our test season, uh, driver. We're going to go three seasons. I'm going to give him 120,000. We'll give him a bit of money as well. Let's see what he fancies. Ah! Oh, he doesn't like it. Okay. Right, let's go for Heidfeld then. Which should be... a bit of a better option. Hey, he accepts. Awesome. Right, so we will get uh, Heidfeld in, and he's going to be our test driver at the end of the season. Uh, Commercial-wise, who was it? It was Armstrong uh, that we wanted. He wanted a better salary, so we'll add a couple of clicks on that. And I can't remember, did he say it was too long or too short? Let's go long. Ah, he accepts. Awesome. Right. So we've got Armstrong in for next season. Design-wise, we still haven't got anybody. Oh, no, we have. We've got Gascoigne. Oh, yeah. We want to make sure that that's in place. Engineering. We haven't got anybody yet. Um, who's he joining? Tyrrell. Okay. So Tyrrell, this guy's out of a job. Now I think he said it was too long, didn't he? So we'll give him one year. Too short now. Typical. Um, okay. Fine. Yeah, nothing else in there. Um... I don't really know why we can't see any more. Ah, there we go. Cool. Okay. Um, mechanics, don't think we managed anybody yet. He wanted a bit more salary, didn't he? Everything else was fine. And he has accepted. So, he will be staying on for the next couple of years. I'm happy with that. So, we've got people in for commercial design and mechanics. It's pretty good. Drivers wise, we've got Barrichello and Diniz next year. I think that's a fairly strong driver lineup, and um, particularly Barrichello. I think he'll lead the team well. You know, in our in our sort of transition season, I think it's probably going to be two thousand, maybe two thousand and one before we are competing at the front. And I want Barrichello at the at the front of that. Um. Okay. Let's have a look at some repairs. Um, so car 2 has 2% 2 damage. Uh, so we can repair that. Eh. I mean, I suppose only 2% damage. It's not, not the end of the world, is it? Um, Wear-wise, 52% on car 1. So let's try and get that sorted out. Um, that's fine. So let's get that repaired. And let's get that repaired. So wear wise, they're absolutely fine. Cool. Right then, I think we might be ready to move on. Uh, let's well, let's have a little look at our 
negotiations with the engine. So it would cost us seven and a half million. If we could get a partner, it would cost us nothing. Or if it could get a works, they would pay us eleven million. Um, and they want two seasons. So I think that's certainly worth pursuing. We're never going to get a Ferrari works deal or a or a or a um, Mercedes one. I think Peugeot's where we're at with that. Um, a partner deal would be great with them as well. Again, fuel would be pretty good. Only four bars to, to get there. The engine is, is going to be a little bit of a a, a bugger to, to get. Because um, there's so many bars. But if we, if we work hard at it, we might get there. Um, okay, that's fine by me. Right, round two it is then. Here we go, into the Brazilian Grand Prix. Um, so none of that is confirmed, I don't really know why. Um, okay, start race weekend, that's fine, so it is dry, um, Alessi did it on the hards last time, so let's, um, let's get Johnny Herbert on that as well, let's get into things, that's fine. Um, we'll go three laps each in qualifying this time and see how they get on. Here we go. 11th and 12th again. And uh, this time, Alessi four tenths quicker than Johnny Herbert. So he is looking quicker, has to be said. Hakkinen on pole again. Coulthard second. Irvine now qualifies Schumacher. Fisichella and Wurtz uh, are fifth and sixth. And then Frensen and Villeneuve round out the top eight. Hill and Schumacher, 9th and 10th. Uh, Alessi, not too far off in 11th there, so pretty decent from him. It is overcast. Um, now, John Alessi, did he... I think he went for the one stopper last time, didn't he? Uh, so I think we probably want to do something similar again. Um, so why don't we do that. Um, so how many laps is there? Does it say anywhere? I don't know. I think it's about 70, isn't it? Around Brazil. So what's the, the minimum it'll let us go for? 37, that's fine. Okay. Cool. And then Johnny Herbert will will go for the two stop strategy again. I think that works out well for him. Or well, hopefully does. There we go. Right. Let's get into it then. Where are they gonna finish? Oh, so Herbert finishes eighth this time. Uh Alacy out this time. What did Alacy do? Uh brakes, so a brakes issue. So reliability not looking Brilliant so far. Herbert finishing in the top eight. That's pretty good. Our race pace is looking better than Jordan uh, at the moment. So, not bad. Herbert in eighth. We'll settle for that. Uh, Coulthard running away with the championship at the moment. I'm sure that will change, though. So, let's see if we can finish off any negotiations here. Um... Oh, looking at the Peugeot, they're already at a customer level. So we can already get some customer engines, which is good. Um, not getting anywhere with it, any of those two, though. Which is fine. Uh, where were the other negotiations, I think? Was it in... 
engineering. And it was... Yeah, possible weight. There we go. Uh, Pat Raquette, who's he joining? Ferrari, Simmons is going to Williams. Um, Barnard is, go is going to Benetton. So it looks like we are going to have a little bit of a a shift around. Uh, we'll go for three seasons for Harvey Postlewaite, and he accepts that. So uh, we will get him in <coughs> for next season, which is good. So we are pretty much all sorted for that. We just need to make sure that we are where we need to be in terms of repairs. Um, that looks fine. Oof, 96% on car 2. So let's get that repaired. We'll use two sets of spares. That's fine. Everything else looks okay there. Uh, so we can do testing. The chassis already looking pretty decent for next year. Which is good. Never a guarantee um, that we will meet the, the regulations for next season. But we will see. So if I took one off there, can I get any? No. So that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Okay, well, I think for a first episode, that is where we'll leave it. It's been about 40 minutes now. Um, I appreciate it. I've been rambling on for so long. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it, though. So if you have, leave a like down below. Get involved down in the comment section as well. I really do want to hear uh, what you've got to say and, uh, and any hints and tips and things you think that I should be doing to help us out on Grand Prix World. But I really do appreciate the um, you watching it, and I, I hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.